Hey guys, welcome to this month's technical tip with Lawrence. Uh, today we're going to talk a bit about the new Hook 2 mounting bracket. Uh, they've done some changes in this bracket to make it easier for the for the end user to mount their unit and to store away those cables. So I just thought I would share some of these new features with you. Um, as you can see on the back of the bracket, they've made two slot holes. This is mainly for your transducer cable to slot into after you've used it, and the other side is for your power cable. Now, especially for the guys on the kayak and the jet ski market, uh, specifically the kayak market, once they disconnect the unit, the cables drop into the kayak and those cables go and lie inside the salt water that's accumulated inside the kayak and that corrodes the cable. So what they've done now is made a space for your uh, cables to slot into and that will prolong the life of your cable. Um, when it comes to the mounting side of the unit, um, what you would see it's got two brackets that you push in to clip your unit into place. Now you can adjust it to your angle and as you'll see at the back, once you're happy with the angle, it's got a locking plate that will slide up and now your unit is fixed on your boat. So this thing can't go anywhere, it can't break off, um, so it's much more sturdier than the old QRP5.